Hey everybody, my name is Blaine. This is going to be a video review and overview install video for a few different upgrade op light options from Xenon Depot for the Toyota 4Runner. I have a 2014 Toyota 4Runner. Uh, absolutely love it. Uh, it gets off-road, takes me where I want to go. One of the things that are a little lackluster about the 5th Gen 4Runner are its headlights, unfortunately, and the fog lights, factory lights that come with the, with the vehicle OEM. So uh, I went ahead and got in touch with the good folks at Xenon Depot and ordered up a set of the H11 HID kit, as well as a set of the fogs. I believe it's the H16 Extreme LED Pro kit. Uh, and then I went ahead and got there the LED high beams as well. Uh, I think that is uh, the 9005 bulb. Uh, in addition to the fog lights going in the LEDs, I'm going to be doing a Laminex yellow film, film cover install over the, uh, over the housing to get that yellow look that I'm, that I'm going for for the fog lights. I just want to make a quick note for you other 5th Gen 4Runner owners out there. Uh, I believe you need to purchase, if you're doing the, the high beams LED, extreme LEDs, you have to purchase the 9005 lights as well as this part, they have it numbered 9006. It's, a, it's the with CAN bus option. Um, basically what that will do is reduce any flicker because the, the stock um, bright high beam bulb uh, also has a dim mode for your daytime running lights these will not have that lower output option for your daytime running lights. You will be running full high beams uh, during the day with your daytime running light switch. Basically what the CAN bus does is regulates the voltage to the LED uh, so that it doesn't drop below its threshold to turn off and on so you don't get a flickering effect when you're in the daytime running light mode. Um, so you will be running full output the entire time before we get to the install, I will take the camera outside and do a little before and after shots, exterior, interior, so you guys can see before and after what the halogen bulb, how the halogen bulbs compare to the HID and the LEDs. Um, I'll keep all the camera settings the same. It's already getting dark outside, so it should be a good apples to apples comparison for you guys. Here's your LED high beam color temperature difference much much brighter all right so for the test this is f 2.8 1 40th of a second white balance 5000 kelvin iso 3200 so we will keep these same camera settings when we go for our next little test drive There's high beams, no fogs. High beams turning into the neighborhood. Here we've got low beams. First things first, I'm going to loosen the battery, probably just going to pop it out, make it easier for myself. So we got to pull off this dust cover. You do have to drill a hole through these dust covers um, just to make room for the wiring harness that connects to the factory wiring harness inside the headlamp unit. Um, but they do include this grommet that will reseal the hole. So um, it looks to be about one inch. So we are just going to take this little spade bit here and uh, drill our hole.
All right, so we've got the dust panel reinstalled with the light uh, and the high beam. Uh, I just added some Gorilla Tape on the back here just to make that seal nice and secure. Um, it looks like we just connect each of these to the little relay dealy. And we will tuck that guy up and under after we test everything. This is the wiring harness for the high beam, 9005 bulbs. Now we've got to install our CAN bus. I think that is it. Can't really test it without the car battery installed, so we should probably get that seated again. And then we can work on cleaning this mess up. So this is the fog light on the driver's side fog light housing and wiring harness. All you do is disconnect that uh, wiring harness. There's a little tab you press down on uh, and pull straight down towards the ground and that will disconnect the wiring harness. And then you turn the bulb counterclockwise and uh, the bulb comes right out. And the new bulb is going to go in in the exact reverse order. I'm not sure if you can pick that up on this microphone or not, but um, I did notice there's a little tiny bit of an audible buzz coming from the HID headlight ballast. But from what I've heard, that's pretty normal. Once this thing is tucked up under the hood, you won't really hear it. All right, the next step is to clean all the wires up. So I'm gonna take the 3M tape. I'm going to, there's a nice little nook right under this panel. I'm gonna pop this off, lift this up, and uh, just adhere this under here. Along with this, using some other 3M tape. Here's the passenger side. All right, so this is the garage test, except this time with the HIDs and LED fog lights on. Uh, quite a bit brighter. I had to stop down the camera a little bit. Um, doesn't look like my aim is too far different, so I'm probably not going to bother adjusting the aim. Um, the brights, however, you can see they go up to about the same marks. So these are the high beams against the garage at about 15 feet from the lens against the garage door. No fog lights. And here we are with the low beams and the fog lights again. All right, guys, well, it's been a couple weeks now. We're running the Xenon Depot LEDs and HID kit for the 4Runner. I uh, just wanted to jump back on here and give you a quick little update, let you know how I've been liking the lights uh, and a couple little things I learned along the way. Uh, first of all, you'll notice that I did go ahead and tint my fogs with a yellow tint from Laminex. Uh, it worked out pretty well. You know, there were some, it was, it was a little bit tricky getting it on there without any bubbles, but uh, especially with the heat here in Arizona right now, I think it smoothed itself out. Um, so that was a pretty easy application. I, I went ahead, and if you're curious, I bought the bulk, um, the bulk lamination sheets rather than the ones that are pre-cut for the dome lights. Um, and I went ahead and uh, just cut them out myself. So I think it was a little bit cheaper and a little bit more reassuring to me to do it that way than mess with something that was trying to custom fit. Uh, but anyway, let's, uh, let's show you the lights in daylight. So the daytime running lights are now using the high beams and right now I have the camera positioned about uh, two car lengths away 
at about head height where you would be sitting in a large sedan. So kind of like where the rear view mirror of another car that would be in front of me would be. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys that. They are pretty bright, pretty obnoxious. Uh, I'm probably not gonna be running around, driving around town with my day daytime running lights on anytime soon. Um, even during the day, they stand out. It, it looks like the sun reflecting off of your headlights, shining right into, uh, into somebody's eyes. So it, it's probably not a huge safety concern in the middle of the day, considering reflections can be just as bad, but nonetheless, obnoxious to other drivers, just something to be cognizant of. Um, so here are the headlights with the fog lights. Um, these have been absolutely awesome. I love this combination. They do take about, I'd say, 20 seconds to really warm up. The, the HIDs do. And, uh, but once they, once they are running, um, man, they are bright and they are awesome. Uh, I will say one thing I did have to do was to pop the hood and make the uh, adjustment on the headlights to aim them down just a little bit from wherever the factory setting was. Uh, your mileage may vary depending on where your headlights are currently aimed when you do the install, so I'm not going to really show you how to do that. It's super easy. You just need a Phillips head screwdriver. There's two little holes uh, up there right next to the headlights that you just drop a Phillips head in and, and aim the headlights, but I did go down probably about five or ten degrees uh, with, the head, with the low beams um, to get them out of the eyes of oncoming traffic because they are pretty bright even for low beams. Yes, before I get the comments, I do realize I'm parked on the wrong side of the street. It is summertime in Arizona, and it is 107 degrees today. Uh, so I'm just getting this done right in front of my house real quick. <laughs> so uh, I will be moving the vehicle shortly. One thing I will say about the fog LED lights is that they have a very wide beam pattern. Um, you'll notice you still get hit by the bright spot of the light way out here at past 45 degrees. Um, of the vehicle. So uh, how that translates on the road, uh, basically if you're at a red light, cars that are on the other side of the red light, on the other side of uh, the direction of traffic, will be getting hit with the bright spot of your fog lights. It's not too overwhelming, but they are pretty bright, so just to keep in mind. Yeah, so I've been really happy with the lights. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If it's uh, an upgrade that you would be thinking about doing for your 4Runner, let me know. Um, I highly recommend them, just as long as you're cognizant of uh, other drivers on the road. Uh, always be courteous and, and uh, know that your lights are a lot brighter than other people's. So, um, yeah, hope you guys found this helpful, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.